wake up a donor every day, and I'm thankful of that. Every day I wake up and I can go out and be involved in life, and that's what I look forward to. A 60-year-old double lung transplant recipient living with cystic fibrosis is beating the odds through his dedication. Jerry Cahill is a pole vaulting coach and a mentor who's living a life some never thought was possible. In the documentary Up for Air, which is premiering in San Francisco tomorrow, Jerry shows us how his commitment to physical fitness and medical treatments has helped get him this far. And we have Jerry live with us in studio now to talk about the documentary, his journey, and your mission. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You, you know, yeah. I feel like to say beating the odds is like the biggest understatement we could possibly make. For people who don't understand cystic fibrosis, tell us about the prognosis. Well, cystic fibrosis is a respiratory disease. Uh, and basically the main part of it that it affects your lungs mm -hmm. uh, and your lungs get really clogged up and uh, after a lot of infections there gets to the point where there there is really the next step is a lung transplant uh, because a lot of the infections scar your lungs up and your breathing your lung function drops considerably before my transplant my lung function was down to 18 percent but I think why your story is so inspiring is that a lot of people when they hear about someone with cystic fibrosis or they hear about all the struggles they feel like there's not a lot they can do because there's no cure there they feel like it's it's it, it really is so devastating which of, it can be but but tell me what your message is well my message is that you know you gotta exercise for life and you've got to get out there you have to be relentless uh, and it's all about living, breathing, and succeeding. You know, whether you can run a marathon or you can just walk around the block, you've got to get out and move your body. Uh, by exercising, it really helps keep your lungs clear. And the biggest thing with cystic fibrosis is to keep your lungs clear so they're void of infection. Uh, life expectancy is 38. When, where were you and did you have that epiphany where you said, I'm going to go through that in a big way you were you just said I'm gonna do this well it was kind of a competition to me when I was first diagnosed they told my parents uh, that you're lucky if your son makes it till the 16th birthday at that yes. point I was like 10 years old uh, and then I just kept uh, increasing and going and my parents got me involved with sports at a very early age which was back then it was a lifesaver mm -hmm. for me they didn't uh, practice exercise for people with CF when I was diagnosed, they basically told my parents, well, let Jerry sit at home and rest and keep him comfortable. Yeah. Right. Uh, it, was a, it was to just go easy. Exactly. So I got involved with sports because of my father and my brothers, and I just started to think, well, I'm an athlete, and I kind of just surpassed that whole thing about cystic fibrosis, and I couldn't do things. So I just believe in you know, getting out there and really pushing myself and being relentless. So tell us about this pole vaulting and then how we got to the documentary. And five years, right? They yeah, five you? years, yeah. Well, the documentary, pole vaulting, I started pole vaulting uh, in high school. Uh, I was running track at first, and then I decided to try pole vaulting, which was even better for cystic fibrosis, because then I was doing a lot of gymnastics, bounding drills, and also I was doing a lot of weightlifting. And uh, with the running, so that combination really started to keep my lungs very clear. Uh, over time, uh, but, you know, my lungs still progressed, and they got worse and whatnot. Uh, I started doing some volunteer work at the Boomer Esiason Foundation doing these things called CF Podcasts. Uh, and the gentleman that was filming the podcast said to me one day, do you mind if I do a story on you? So I was like, yeah, you can do a story, whatever you like. So he decided to, over the years, was writing and doing the documentary and taking a lot of extra video. Uh, and then it just came about like uh, six months ago that it was finalized and uh, we have a finished product and it's called Up For Air. Uh, it really involves coaching and being relentless and just beating the odds, no matter what you're it's, facing in life. It seems like everyone can learn from that, not just folks with yeah. cystic fibrosis. Yes. And learn about CF and learn about uh, also uh, uh, donating organs as well. I mean, yeah, I mean, organ donation is really, a, really a big issue right now. There's a lot of people daily that are, you know, they're not making it. They're passing away because there's not enough organs out there. So it's really meant to get out there also to show that, you know, organ donation is very important. Uh, because people, you know, people with cystic fibrosis and even other diseases, and they're they're not making it because there's not enough organs out there. Your story is amazing. Awesome. Thank you very much. We appreciate much. you coming in. Good and, 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 and my pleasure. Wow. Let's.